The United Arab Emirates President Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan was laid to rest in Abu Dhabi. The ruler of Abu Dhabi Emirate died on Friday at the age of 73 after years long battle with illnesses. His death triggered a period of mourning in the state. Sheikh Khalifa took over as the UAE's second president in November 2004. He succeeded his father as the 16th ruler of Abu Dhabi, the richest of the federation's seven emirates. He made rare public appearances since 2014 after surgery following a stroke. The late UAE president was laid to rest in Abu Dhabi's Al Batin Cemetery. His expected successor and half-brother, Mohammed bin Zayed, conducted the funeral. Sheikh Zayed tweeted that the people of the Emirates are united in grief as they mourn the loss of the leader and president. According to the constitution, Vice President and Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, ruler of Dubai, will act as president for now. Later, the Federal Council, which groups the rulers of the seven Emirates, will meet to elect a new president within 30 days. The most visible testament to the legacy of the late president is the world's tallest building, Dubai's Burj Khalifa. The Burj Khalifa was renamed after he bailed out the debt-hit emirate when the global financial crisis struck in the year 2009. Flags flew at half-mast above the interior ministry in Abu Dhabi and other landmarks at the start of 40 days of official mourning. Work will remain suspended in the public and private sectors until Tuesday. After the official announcement about his death was made, tributes for the late president poured in. U.S. President Joe Biden referred to him as a true partner and friend of the United States. India has declared state mourning on Saturday as a mark of respect for the late president. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett offered his sincerest condolences to the UAE government and its people. In Saudi Arabia, sports and entertainment events were suspended while Oman, Lebanon and Kuwait also ordered three days off mourning.